small video with a tip about using the scroll wheel. So I have a simple sphere with a material, I mean my shading tree, I've selected that material. When I want to adjust, for instance, the diffuse amount, I can use those little triangles or I can enter the value numerically, that's something you already know. But I can also just hover over diffuse amount, you see it highlights when I go over it, and use my middle mouse button, so the scroll wheel, and scroll up. And now you see that the diffuse amount is going up. When I scroll down, you see that the diffuse amount is going down. So instead of entering the value numerically or using the little sliders over there, I can also just hover over here and scroll up or down. And for instance, when I press the R key for activating my scale tool and my tool properties pops up, this is something that happens when, well, when I have my tool active and press the K key, that's, something, that's a tip from another video, then my tool properties pops up. When you highlight the dot, then each time you activate a tool, the properties pop up automatically. And of course, also over here, so when I hover over scale X, when I scroll my mouse wheel up, it scales in X, down it scale, scales back in X. Same with Y, so when I hover up, so might be handy to fine tune your scaling. I find this is more precise than using these sliders. It doesn't always work that well, as you can see, but just scrolling or entering the value. So just a little tip about scrolling. You can actually enter values by just hover over those fields and scroll your middle mouse button. I forgot to mention that you also can use your shift key and your control key. So when I hover over the scale X, for instance, and press the shift key and now scroll up, now it's, the, the value goes up with increments of 5%, as you can see. And when I press the control key, now it's with one hundredth of a percent, as you can see. So we can also use the control key with this method and the shift key. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.